Going to the doctor can be overwhelming, especially if you feel unwell. You might be confused about what they are saying, feel like you are not being heard, or worried you will be seen as pushy or annoying by asking a lot of questions. This can also make it harder to set and stick to have goals. If you are feeling unheard and unwell, you might feel less motivated to seek help when trying to improve your health. Women are more likely to experience this feeling. One in five women say they felt that a healthcare provider has ignored or dismissed their symptoms. Advocating for yourself in this situation can get you the care you are looking for and most importantly, the care you deserve. Today, I'm sharing five ways to advocate for your well-being in a doctor's office or any other setting where your health is more important than anything else. Now let's talk about five ways to advocate for your health. Number one, learn how to tune in to what your body is telling you. Your body speaks to you every day. Learn to listen. This strategy is not just helpful when it comes to hunger cues. Your body will tell you if something is wrong. This means paying attention to what your body is showing or feeling at any given time such as feeling bloated after eating or experiencing a skin reaction after using a certain product. Your doctor may have gone through years of medical school, but that doesn't mean they know you. If something feels off, wrong or different, it probably is. So learn to tune and listen to your body. Number two, bring notes and take notes during your appointment. Although you are dealing with symptoms on a day-to-day basis, it can be easy to forget or overlook things when sharing your experience. Try keeping a symptom journal. Include what symptoms you are experiencing, how often they occur, when they begin, and how they affect you. You can also keep track of what you are eating. This may be especially helpful if you are dealing with suspected digestive issues. During your appointment, be an active listener and consider taking notes. Some of what you talk about may be confusing and overwhelming, and the notes can help you sort it out. This may be especially helpful when seeking a second opinion or doing your own research. Number three, find an appropriate support system. During times of stress, especially those involving your health, Leaning on your friends and family can seem like second nature. They might not have the experience or ability to give you advice that will give you the results you need. Health coaches can positively impact their clients' health in many ways, one of which is helping them determine when a client should see a doctor for a specific concern. Health coaches also create safe spaces for their clients to explore their health concerns. Sometimes all a client wants is to feel heard and validated. So health coaches can be a great support system during stressful times. Number four, if you have the means, take a course to learn more about preventive health. In some cases, it's up to you to find out what is wrong. Formal diagnosis can be made only by medical professionals, but that doesn't mean you can't do your own research on your symptoms. We live in a world where options are endless and information is plentiful. Number five, believe that you deserve a healthy body. Self-image issues are intensely common in all walks of life. It can be difficult to overcome these issues, particularly in a world with social media influencers who promote misleading and sometimes false claims that one workout diet, pill or routine is responsible for how they look. These issues can also be complicated by professionals who may dismiss your symptoms and concerns. Your body has been with you your whole life through the highs and lows, through good times and bad. Whether you are at the beginning of your health journey, you deserve the goal you are seeking, a healthier body and life. Whatever your health goals are, you deserve them. Feeling unheard and misunderstood at the doctor's office is frustrating. 
but this doesn't mean you don't deserve what you are seeking for. You know yourself best. Trust your intuition to lead you to what you need in order to live a healthier, happier life.